All right, welcome back again. Today we are going to focus on setting up cameras and making video renders for your sign slash logo. I, you can see I already have some cameras in here. Just kind of ignore those for now because I have those set up. I'm going to show you how to start them and create them from scratch. All right, so the first thing that we had, we have some cameras that we need to take for our six still images. So we have here these. So just like every other project, we need to put in our six here. And according to our criteria, we need to make them at different times of day, at various distances and various angles at various different, or I'm sorry, at different times of day. So to do that, uh, make sure that your sun positioner is available. It's not super far out. Make sure you can select that so you can change your time real easily on this. So in my perspective space, I'm just going to do an add, look at my cameras. I'm going to do a free camera actually. I click where I want it. By default, it comes facing straight down. So I'm going to just going to rotate this facing up. You can see what it's looking at. I'm going to aim it at my at my sign. And I'm going to go right into that. So I think mine's going to be camera six. I have a lot of them in here so far. So I go into my camera. Or don't forget we had these tools down here, but we can still pan. So if we push our center roll button. And when we set up our cameras, we want to make sure that it's something that we're like a perspective where we can actually see it. If you want to do like a more of a, a zoomed out one, I guess you can. Um, to show more of an aerial view, but if you have something that's like way up like this, it doesn't really, doesn't really make sense to have that. That doesn't show you anything, but you want to make your, make your camera view so you're actually there, so it looks like you're standing there looking at the sign, or if you're driving past, this is how this would look. So I'm going to zoom this in a little bit more. So same, just walking by, looking at this like that. I have a little crooked here. Wow. There we go. Okay. Say I have that and I have my time set already. So if a regular still and a render setup, we can make sure that we're on art render. Make sure you have single selected. And since it's just a still picture, you can make these a little bit bigger. The 720 by 46 will be fine. And your art render. You can put this between draft and medium. You can probably bring this up to medium. It'll take a little bit longer, but you won't really notice much of a, dis a difference. So I'll leave that right about in the middle. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and hit render, and you'll see these pop up, and they'll take however long that it needs to take. I cancel that. You get the point. Once you create it, you can do a save as. Make sure that you save. I like to give them numbers. It's like one. You can see I have 13 of them now. So if I did save that one, I could make it number 14 as a JPEG. Or you can name it, say, nighttime, daytime, whatever angle that you want. So six different angles with different times a day. It doesn't mean you have to do six different times a day, but you can do six various different angles, six different pictures, different distances. You get the idea. All right. So now for an actual video rendering, though. So let's see. I get out of this one, go back to my perspective my time set up where I want it. So let's say I want to create something, recreate when I have, what's this one? My zoom. So you zoom in on it. I also have my side to side, I believe this one is. Oh, that one's not working. I think I accidentally erased it. So number four. Oh, my spin one. And I also have, that's just a still. Okay, so back out here into my perspective space, I'm going to add a new free camera. And this one I'm just going to do like a zoom from an angle. So I select that there, rotate it up about 90 degrees, so you can see. Rotate that direction. All right, so I'm going to go into that camera space. This one's my number seven. Yeah, it's not looking too good, so I'm going to pan that up. Let me rotate down a little bit. I'm going to start kind of zoomed out. Maybe something like this. All right, I'm only going to leave my segments at 100. If you put it at 300, that's going to be more like five, six seconds or so. So this takes about two and a half seconds of time to get from there to there. So leave that at, at 100. Do not change any of this. So I'm going to set auto key. And so let's say by zero, at zero, I want to stay here. But let's say by the time we get to the end of the video, let's that I want to be all the way zoomed in, maybe tilt it over a little bit. 
Yeah, so then now, brings you on that final one. Or what else you can do, I can get rid of that key. Let's say by the time we're at number, let's say, let's say 60 here, I want it to be zoomed in all the way where I want it to be, and then pause there for a while. So I can go there, and then it just stays there for a little bit so you can see the view. And then you, I have these windmills so you can actually see that rendering. Otherwise, yours would just be a still. So that's okay, though. All right, so then turn off auto key. And our render setup is going to be different for this one because we need to lower some settings because it's going to take quite some time. So for this one, we're actually just going to do 320 by 240. Okay, sorry for that. There might be a weird glitch in your video, but start that over. Let's go to our render setup. And we're going to put this on active time segments. And we are going to choose the 320 by 240 because it's not going to take as long. And then we have our art render. If you leave this about between that draft and medium, maybe a little closer to the draft. Um, draft will be much quicker, but it'll be real grainy. So let's leave this about here in the middle between there. Go back to common. Make sure you have active time segments. There we go. And you also need to save the file. You need to save an AVI. Choose a path. You can do this directly to your H drive, to your to your render output folder. Mine's in a different space because I can save right to the computer, so don't ignore that. But save to your render output. Give it a name. Make sure you change this to an AVI. Hit save. Yes, I want to go overwrite that one. So now when I hit render, Yes, it's going to take a little bit to go through that first one, so I'm going to pause the video and come back. All right, so after about a minute, after a few frames go by, you can see that it'll then give you an estimated time remaining, so about 30 minutes. So I just put that setting down to closer to draft before I just did a practice, and it said 50 minutes, and that was about in the middle. So definitely closer to draft. What I did forget to mention, though, is make sure that you're in the proper camera. And then you do select that AVI and everything. But like I'm talking about here, yeah, closer to draft, it's going to bring down the time. If you put it even closer to the middle, it's going to add on about 20 minutes. But mine has things spinning around, so it still shouldn't take that long. So you can experiment a little bit with that. But right about here should be just fine. All right, so in the end, make sure you have active time segments. Make sure your file is saved to a location. And make sure you don't save on top of anything. And it's also saved as an AVI right here. That's very important. For your second camera, I'm not going to place a second one, but just make it something different. So I have this one. I don't know what happens to my animation, but what I did do originally, so let's say auto key. Let's get rid of that. So by the time I got to 100, it was actually panned all the way over. So it did like a nice, did like a cool sweeping motion from left to right. So you can do something like that, or you can do the spinning around one. That is all up to you. The spinning around one is going to take a little bit longer to render because there's a lot going on in it. That video will take a little bit longer to render because it is spinning around the whole thing. But if you do choose to do that, do not forget that I did make a video for it in Camera Path. This will show you how to set it up to swing it around in any path or in that full circle. And I think that about covers it. See you in the next one.